Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever part of the world that you were on today. You know, one of the things that was really upon my heart this morning is this. When, <clears throat> as a leader of the body of Christ, when has your heart become broken for other ministers, for the body of Christ, for the souls that are lost, for everything that is going on in the lives of people, in the world, and those that are going through things within their life, and they need the hope and the presence and the power of Jesus Christ to come nigh in and upon that situation for a miracle to happen, for a change to come, for transformation to take place, for that breakthrough to come for their life or what it is that they're believing God for, for a turnaround. But when is the last time, when's the last time you know, because I this is I've just been really just thinking about the leaders in the body of Christ, and very rarely do I ever see whew, leaders broken for other leaders. Very rarely do I ever see the leaders extending their hand, and even though they sometimes they'll say, you know, well, let's pray for so and so, let's pray for so and so, but there's no brokenness. There is there there is there is no. There's no true brokenness within the heart of these individuals that 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 convinces even the hearers to even want to be to, to even have a sailor to think about, you know what? Man, yeah, let's pray for him. Let's pray for her. See, just because a minister carries the word, carries the word carries not only the storms and the and the fight of what it is that they go through in their family but they carry the weight of the call of God's purpose and the word to give to the people to guard it to guard them to guard the people we have to understand that ministry is greater than just you, than just me. This is about the hearts of all of God's people. And yes, even of the world and sinners that still need to come to the family of God in Christ Jesus. So I ask again, when is the last time you've seen those that you follow, broken, weeping for other ministers upon the land. When's the last time you've ever seen another minister say, a minister just come on and just say, Father, bless that ministry, bless that man, bless that woman of God. But we hear a lot of cursing we hear a lot of attack. We hear a lot of, you know, you know, they need to shut it down. They need to come even submit under this ministry and learn here. And, you know, they no longer need to be in ministry. But rather than rather than trying to cut down a tree, what can you do to help build the tree? What can you do to help build the body of Christ? You know, just like even in corporate America, you know, one of the things everyone can see a problem but few can come in and see the problem, but have an answer. The problem is not the problem. The problem is, do you have a solution? What is the solution? The solution is not just agreeing with you. The solution is pray, encourage, model, preach Christ. Let the word do the work. Let the spirit of God do what the spirit of God can only do. Only the Holy Spirit can cut, not you. You can't convict somebody. You're not that good. I'm not that good. None of us are that good. 
But what would it be like? If all this time you've been making videos about people, if all this time you've been wanting to see that minister fail, See, because there's people that are out there right now in this world that call themselves a Christian. They call themselves a believer, but they want to see me fall. They, they, they wanted to see me shut everything down. They, want, they, they don't want to see me succeed with what God's called me to do. Right now as I speak, you tell me that's Jesus Christ. You tell me that is the love of Jesus. You tell me. You tell me and you show me that that is the heart of the Father. That is not. So how can we say we love God yet hate our brother and our sisters? How can we say we love God who we haven't seen And yet here we are warring. Where's the anguish? Where's the brokenness in the hearts of leaders today that could honestly say, hey, you know what? I may not agree, but I wanna see him win. You know what? I may not agree, but I wanna see her win. For the sake of the souls, for the sake of his people, I don't want to see them fail. I want to see them succeed. I want to see them fulfill everything of what God's called them to do. When's the last time you heard ministers talk and say things like that? This is what's been upon my heart. As a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and I've been walking with the Lord since 1998. So for those of you who will tune in, who don't know who I am, I've been walking with the Lord since 1998. I was saved in a supernatural encounter. And there's a lot of people, and I will share my, I'll tell my testimony again for those that are new, who don't know how I came to Jesus Christ. I came to Jesus Christ because of an encounter with the Lord who met me in a bar in 1998 on a Friday night. Because for all those that gotta, see, and that's the thing is, for those that don't believe in the supernatural and they don't believe in the, in the miraculous, they don't, they don't even, they don't buy the testimony sometimes that I tell them. Come on, brother, you mean the, you mean God came into a bar and you heard the voice of God calling you? They won't, they don't believe it. Some people don't believe it. They don't buy it. And that's okay because I'm not here to convince you. All I know is what transformed my life and what touched me and marked me and forever changed me. <laughs> and you mean to tell me the devil's out there trying to get people to, to follow Jesus? <laughs> oh, so this is what I'm talking about, brothers. Love one another. How shall you and they know that we are his, that we would have love one for another? Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the second is likened unto the other. Love your neighbor. Love your brother. Love your sister. It's the cross. It's vertical and horizontal. Love God, vertical. Love your, love your brothers and sisters. Love people, horizontal. It's the cross. And what was upon the cross? The blood. It was the love blood of Jesus Christ. It was the love blood of Jesus Christ that still speaks better things. It's the love blood of Jesus Christ that heals. It's the love blood of Jesus Christ that saved us, redeemed us, and reconciled us back into fellowship and union and sonship with him. Love you. In Jesus' name.